Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Have you thought about how long is the shelf life on the foods that you've been buying in the store? Shouldn't it be fresh? We've had a lot of shortages, things that were not available. They were backed up, unavailable, who knows, during the pandemic. And all of a sudden, we're finding that things are more readily available. So shouldn't they be fresh? Shouldn't their shelf life be quite extensive and long? Well, I have been finally finding packaged foods like muffin mixes, mashed potato mixes, and the Nor noodle packets. And then I'm realizing when I finally go and look at the date, there's not that much shelf life left in them. There's barely a year in some of them and only a few months in others. Now, if the food is just finally being produced and shipped to our stores, shouldn't it have at least a year and a half or two? These type of foods usually have an extended shelf life. And suddenly, we've waited and waited and we get them and maybe there's only a few months on them. Where has this food been? It can't have just been produced. Were stores holding back? How is it that the food I bought a year ago has the same best buy, sell by, use by date as the food I just bought last week? The new foods in the store should not have the same expiration date for the same product as the food that I bought a year ago, yet it does. I like to store these types of packages into five gallon buckets. I buy lots of them, multiples, and I store them away. They've had a reasonable shelf life, so it's easy to stockpile extras and put them away. It doesn't mean they're necessarily spoiled or no longer good to eat when they reach that date, but part of the reason of stockpiling and setting food away is that it can be left on the shelf for longer. When we go shopping and we see foods that we like for our prepper pantry and we haven't seen for a while, it's easy to want to load up for your prepper pantry for going forward, to have an additional supply of food for an extended length of time. But when you get home and start looking over the dates, shouldn't it be food that's going to last longer? And I'm not finding that to be true. So that's something I wanted to point out to you. See if the foods that you're buying still have the same date as the old supply that you bought a long time ago. A lot of these foods have the date in still 2021. We're at the end of 2021. Where is the 2022? Where is the 2023? That's what we want to be buying and stockpiling so that we can put it in the back of our stockpile and be rotating it. When I was rotating the food is when I realized that they have basically the same date and it isn't really helping to have additional stock of foods with the same date on them, which I found to be remarkable. So I don't know if that's something that you're seeing where you are or not. Look at the sell by, use by, best by, or expiration date on your foods that you're buying now and see, is it really out there long enough? Is it longer than the food that you are rotating? Is it a date that's farther out there than foods that you already have in your prepper pantry? Here are the Idahoan potatoes that I bought. I was rotating them out of my bucket from 2020, 2021, and the new stock is also 2021. Here are the Betty Crocker muffin mixes. I have 2020, 2021, and then I only have a very few for 2022. I bought a bunch of North sides, but their expiration date is 2021 or very early in 2022. Where is the end of 22 and on to the beginning of 2023? That's what I think the dates should be and the food that should be available for us to put in our stockpile. I have these buckets with the North sides, the muffin mixes and the mashed potatoes that I rotate once a year. I got them out took out the old supply and I was ready to fill them up with the ones that I bought that were new when I realized that the dates aren't really much longer than the ones that I'm taking out. So it's something to be aware of. Pay attention to what the dates are on the food where you are and see if you're having the same dilemma. Keep track of the dates on your food. Try to make sure that you're rotating it. And I don't know why it's harder to rotate it that the things are not being able to first in, first out, that the dates should be longer by now on the foods that we're buying in the store. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.